Welcome back to the fourth video in the Vue 3's Composition API series. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button. One of Vue's most powerful features is its reactivity system. To me, this is what separates it from the alternatives like React. In Vue 3, the developers have rewritten the reactive API to solve many of the shortcomings of Vue 2. In this video, we'll take a look at the new reactive system and how it can be leveraged to improve your projects. After, we will take a deeper look into declaring reactive variables by looking at the ref and reactive function, along with some of the less used commands like to ref, ref, and creating custom reactive variables. With the new reactive system in Vue 3, many improvements have been made from Vue 2. I feel the most notable is the better support for observing changes in data. In the previous version with arrays, you couldn't observe changes when you specified a specific index or changed the length of the array. For objects, you couldn't add new properties to an object without using the view.set function. And for using other data types like map and set, Vue 2 straight up did not support reactivity for them. With better observability, in Vue 3, you'll be able to improve the readability and performance of your code. To make these improvements possible, the reactive system was rewritten to use JavaScript's proxies. You can see these in action when you simply print out a reactive reference to console. If you don't know about proxies in JavaScript, I will be releasing a video shortly explaining how they work. Once the video is out, I will add a link in the description below. But in summary, a proxy acts as a wrapper around an object or function that intercepts operations like getting and setting a value. To create a reactive object using the Composition API, you would use the reactive function. This function accepts an object as input and returns a proxy that is reactive to deeply nested values. If you choose to use the Options API, the object that is returned from the data function is internally made reactive by using this reactive function. Now you may be asking yourself, what if I simply just want a standalone primitive value like a string to be reactive? Well, of course, you could make this value into an object and pass it to the reactive function, but Vue has a function just for doing this, called ref. As you may know from a previous video, the ref function accepts a value as input and returns an immutable object with a value key assigned to your input. When accessing a ref in the setup function, you must use the dot value to mutate it. If you return the reference from the setup function to access it in the template, you can simply access it using the variable's name. Vue will automatically unwrap the reactive variable for you. If you would like to convert a property in a reactive object into a ref, you can do this by using the toRef function. This may be useful when you want to pass a specific property to a function while maintaining reactivity. You could also use the toRef function which converts a reactive object with each of its keys being a ref pointing to its corresponding values. This is super useful when you want to do deconstruction on a reactive object. You will commonly see this function being used with props to make each value in the prop reactive. Vue also gives you the option of creating custom reactive variables by allowing you to define when to track and trigger your data during getting or setting the value. To understand this more fully, we'll take a look at an example. In this example, we will have a variable that only accepts a valid email address. This reactive variable will only be assigned if the value being assigned to it is a valid email. We can do this by simply returning the value in the getter, but in the setter, we check if the value is first valid before assigning it and triggering an update. Custom refs can be very useful in many cases. So it's important to have the skill in your toolkit when you need it.